Number 62. By taking the slope of the curve in figure 2.63, verify that the acceleration is 3.2 meters per second squared at time is equal to 10 seconds. Okay, so first thing is, let's take a look at the graph we're dealing with. We're dealing with a velocity versus time graph. Remember that the slope of a velocity versus time graph is the acceleration. Okay, so slope of this graph will equal the acceleration. Why? Well, come down here to the answer section. The slope is equal to the change in y over the change in x. So what are the units of y in this problem? Well, it's velocity, right? Actually, instead of the units, I'm just going to write the uh, letter v on the top. Then what are the, uh, what's the value um, of the denominator? What's the x-coordinate uh, value? Well, that says time. So t. So what does this formula look like to you guys? Velocity divided by time, right? That may look familiar. That's acceleration. So if the slope is equal to v over t, and a is equal to v over t, then a must be equal to m. Simple syllogism, all right? Okay, so, all right, so that takes care of that discussion. Let's move on to now actually finding out what the slope is at 10 seconds. So let's go to the graph. And let's locate 10 seconds. There it is. Dot your line on up. And it looks like the point should be somewhere around here. Then erase all this stuff. Okay, great. So now remember, if I want to find the slope at this particular point, I have to draw a tangent line. A tangent line is a straight line that just grazes this point of the graph. It doesn't cross the graph at that point. It never cuts into the graph. It's just going to graze. It's just a little graze like that Sebastian Maniscalco uh, skit. It's just a graze where his wife bangs up the car or something like that. It's hilarious. You should check it out. Um, anyway, back to physics. So we have to draw a tangent line um, at this particular point. Okay, so let's do so. I'm going to try my best here. It looks like it's going to look something like this. Okay, that looks fairly reasonable. All right, we're not going to get exactly 3.2 as our answer, but we'll, we'll come pretty close. So now I have to pick two points on this line. Let me pick the point here where it intersects the uh, y-axis. So what are the coordinates of that point? Well, the x-value of that point is 0. And we've got to estimate the y-value, right? Maybe it looks like 1,800? Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> 1,800. <laughs> I must be looking at a different graph than you are, right? Uh, it should be about 180, it looks like. Okay, let's call this one y1. Excuse me, x1, and let's call this one y1. Okay, let's find another point. So it looks like 30, if I were to bring a line up, it looks like the x value of 30 would be somewhere around there. So that would have an x value of 30. And then its y value here would have, I don't know, what do you want to call that, 270? 270. Call this one x2 now, and call this y2. Okay, great. Now we have enough we need to plug it into our slope formula. So remember that I can rewrite the slope formula as m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so the slope is equal to our y2 value, which is 270, minus the y1 value, which was 180, divided by my x2 value, which was 30, and my x1 was 0. So now let's see what this, uh, what this works out to be. So let's take uh, 270 minus 180. So that should work out to be 90. Okay, great. So 90 over 30, and that looks like it should come out to about 3. 3.0 uh, meters per second squared. Okay, why meters per second squared? Well, we talked about it already. It's the acceleration. Okay, so the acceleration they told me was 3.2. So I'm off by a slight bit, but we knew that going into it. It's almost impossible that I'm going to get exactly 3.2 because I have to create my own line, and then I have to figure out, approximate where those points are. But this is definitely close enough, so as long as you understand how to do this process, that's what's important. So guys, thanks for uh, checking this out. Also check out the, that uh, Sebastian Maniscalco skit. It's pretty funny. All right, and please remember to subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time.